In a matter of hours, about 160 evacuees under quarantine at MCAS Miramar will finally be released. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. They are among the first group of evacuees from Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the coronavirus, flown to San Diego and placed under a 14-day federally mandated confinement on base. News 8's Richard Allen is live in Miramar with more on what we've learned about their release and about 14 new cases of COVID-19 here in the U.S. Richard, their last night here. And that's right, Marcella, that's right. Now, according to officials, those evacuees will be medically screened one final time before being released tomorrow. That's a precaution. We also understand a bus will be, uh, be used to transport the evacuees off base as they continue their long journey from China back home. It seems like everybody's getting getting a little more excited about uh, getting out of here. John McGorry is among the more than 160 Americans in the first group evacuated from Wuhan, China and flown to MCAS Miramar, who are now expected to be released from their 14-day quarantine on Tuesday. Over the weekend, McGorry said that as the end of confinement nears, the evacuees' attitudes have been improving. People are more, you know, chatty. They're, there's more smiles around here than uh, frowns like there was the first few days. In the meantime, San Diegan Ken Burnett will be flying to Northern California to greet his wife and their two small children after they complete their quarantine this week at Travis Air Force Base. It makes you appreciate certain things more once you've, <laughs> once you've gone through something like this. In Tokyo, the Diamond Princess cruise ship remains docked, although attempts to keep passengers quarantined on board have failed, according to a top U.S. scientist. 340 Americans on the ship were boarded onto chartered flights bound for the U.S., where the majority will be quarantined on military bases near San Francisco and San Antonio for the next two weeks, while 14 who have tested positive for COVID-19 were flown to Nebraska for treatment. And what was initially celebration has turned to concern after more than 2,000 passengers and crew members aboard the cruise ship Westerdam disembarked Friday in Cambodia. It's good to step on land. While those passengers had originally been given the all clear, an American passenger has since tested positive for the virus. And the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide has now topped 73,000 with the vast majority of those confirmed cases in China. The death toll now just under 1,900. Again, the majority in Wuhan, China. Also here at home, while the majority of that first group of evacuees is set to be released from MCS Miramar tomorrow, there are still two confirmed cases of COVID-19 at UC San Diego Health where they are still being treated. Carlo? Thank you, Richard.